American Rescue Plan. Connecticut is set to receive $2.6 billion in state relief and $1.6 billion in local relief phased in beginning this year until 2024. Now, what are the funds set to go towards? The governor says almost $1 billion is set to support schools, focusing on temporary learning programs to catch up students. There will also be extended unemployment insurance benefits and support for public health, economic recovery and vulnerable communities. The governor joined by Senator Chris Murphy, who says that because now a big day is coming for Americans, the Social Security Administration has a new update for Social Security and a sign. New direct checks worth as much as two grand are set to arrive tomorrow. Officials have confirmed that some recipients will get and not always receive the usual monthly payment this month. Instead, they'll be giving away um, some stimulus cash, possibly. And now the third round of financial Social Security return benefits uh, worth the 4200 bucks, is scheduled to go out to recipients in tomorrow. Now that amount that recipients will receive from these checks will vary based on several income factors, including when a person would choose to retire and start receiving the benefits as well as when the person is supposed to get stimulus. But according to the Social Security Administration, a person must have retired when he or she was above 70 to receive the $5,000 Social Security benefit that you should be getting. That's a free amount of stimulus. And recipients who retired at age 67 will get a maximum of 3300 bucks, but anyone who retired at age 62 will get up to 2300 The payment schedule for Wednesday will be for recipients who were born between the 21st and 31st of the month. Recipients of SSI Wallace received a monthly income payment of $914 at the beginning of February, and the money from this payment will either be a lot or a little bit. It will allow people to afford basic necessities and food items and get shelter and food and things like that. Because according to the Fed, the payments are intended to help elderly, blind, disabled people who have low to no income of their own. Eligible SI couples are essential and people who are living on a fixed income cannot get that stimulus cash. Payment recipients are not receiving any payment for January because they received two payments in December, one on December 1st and 30th. The latter payment reserved is for um, SI payments for January. In the year, the Social Security Administration will issue double payments to recipients in March, June, September, and December, as the first of the day will either be on a weekend or holiday, because payments to SI recipients will be slightly higher than the payments issued in 2022 due to the COLA made by the SSA. The payment amount issued to recipients in 2022 was already $841. This year's payment is 8.7 just higher to reflect the payment and adjustment. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office updated its long-term projections on the solvency of Social Security last month, finding that the program's major trust funds can be tapped out in 2023. And this uh, budget found that if the projected gap between the outlays in the trust funds and revenue they receive is forecast, the balance of the trust funds would hit zero, and the Social Security Administration wouldn't be able to pay out for retirements as they come due. Specifically, the Old Age and Survivor Insurance Trust Fund means that people won't be getting a lot of stimulus cash for a while. Because if the two trust funds were combined, the exhaustion date would be around 2033. And federal spending on Social Security has been on an upward trend, as the proportion of Americans at or above retirement age have increased relative to the active workforce. It has strained the program's trust funds for the first time in a long time. But now, the CBO analyst said that um, Social Security benefits will look at the projection cost at the 2023 trust funds. Now, if it found that Social Security benefits were landed, uh, limited to what's payable from tax revenues, benefit payments, it would be about 23% smaller than the scheduled benefit for next year. The gap would rise again as time goes on, and that's only payable to an even smaller amount of people. And when it's payable to an even smaller amount of people, it means that people are not getting their stimulus check. But they can't get it this month if they qualify and meet certain requirements. So these are the requirements that I'm... Mr. President, uh, President Biden, on June 3rd, 2021, last year, issued a memorandum on establishing the fight against corruption as a core U.S. national security interest. I want to quote from the president when he issued that memorandum. President Biden said, Corruption threatens United States national security, economic equity, global anti-poverty and development efforts, and democracy itself. By effectively preventing and countering corruption and demonstrating the advantages of transparent and accountable governance, we can secure a critical advantage for the United States and other democracies. Corruption is a national security core interest. Corruption is the source 
of Mr. Putin's resources that he uses for his international activities, including the war in Ukraine and to try to bring down democratic states. Today, the Atlantic Council is releasing a report, a report titled Why Kleptocrats Still Win, a strategy for the United States and Europe to address weaponized corruption. The report points out of how the kleptocrats hide their wealth in Western countries because they believe it's safer in Western countries to hide their wealth. And the report points out the need for us to coordinate efforts between the United States and Europe. So, Mr. President, today I'm following legislation, the Combating Global Corruption Act. I'm joined by my friend, Senator Todd Young of Indiana, bipartisan legislation to deal with the United States' leadership in fighting global corruption. It will give the State Department and the United States an important tool. It will give the United States leadership in showing the international community the steps that need to be taken in order to counter corruption. It would require the State Department to publish a list of countries in three tiers, the highest tier being those countries that are taking the in the last hour, the Senate passed a bill that will provide an additional $500 billion to small businesses, also to hospitals, and for testing. This after both chambers reached an agreement just this afternoon. They worked very fast on this. Mark Namick takes a look at what it could mean for business owners in Ohio who were left out of the last stimulus bill. Small businesses have been sounding off and dying off. It means that the Social Security COLA for 2022 should be around 6%. Johnson says that this would be a much needed help for benefit recipients. It is finally happening, everybody. A $1,400 stimulus check. As the cost of living continues to rise, billions of dollars have been allocated towards new relief programs. Many people are qualifying to receive up to $2,000 in extra stimulus cash. And also, in this video, I'll be discussing the most important stimulus news, so be sure to stay tuned. I know many of you are wondering whether more Ford stimulus checks are going to be out to the American people this month. And according to top lawmakers, millions of people across the country will see money in their bank accounts due to the fact that states are stepping up in distributing cash. Economists recently released data to answer this question based on their analysis of how much money individual states are distributing. And the amount of cash being sent out will likely shock you. According to analysis by economists, more than half the population of the United States is going to be receiving a stimulus check this year. And this money will come from an estimated 20 U.S. state governments that have already, the, that have already either enacted legislation to provide stimulus bills or are in the process of sending out stimulus checks. In total, the economists estimate that the combined payments across these states would add up to $31 billion. That's around a third of the total payments that were sent out by the Biden administration as part of the American Rescue Plan. The American Rescue Plan was well known for the four